Hi, I'm Chris Mueller Liley, and I'm a lecturer of economic and urban geography here at Swansea. I'm an American, and uh, I grew up in the Midwest of the U.S. outside of a city called Minneapolis in Minnesota. Uh, Minneapolis has been in the news recently. You've probably heard that uh, that's about that city, given the the brutal murder of George Floyd uh, by a white policeman. Uh, many of the cities of the northern Midwest or just of the Midwest of the United States, which is in the north, uh, are some of the most segregated cities in the world, um, but definitely the most segregated cities in the United States. Minneapolis, Chicago, Cleveland, Milwaukee, Madison. And so while these recent events have been shocking, uh, they haven't been that surprising. The police are the kind of enforcers of the racial segregation in many of these cities. And uh, so the, the relations between the police, the public, uh, and the different segregated neighborhoods and communities are not good. They're very difficult. Uh, if you were to come to Swansea, uh, one of the classes that I teach is uh, a first year uh, cities class along with several other colleagues. And one of the things we would talk about is the history of racial segregation in the city of Chicago, a city that I have studied for some time. So I'm an urban geographer. I am also an economic geographer. And uh, in that capacity, I'm interested in uh, what I would generally call the geographies of capitalism or the spaces of capitalism. In other words, uh, the kinds of spaces and places that uh, e uh, capitalist economic activity produce. And one of the things that capitalism tends to produce and reproduce over time is cities. Cities didn't really exist to any great extent prior to capitalism. But I'm also interested in commodities, the objects or experiences that capitalism and capitalists and workers produce to be exchanged, and how they're exchanged and why, and at white, what prices and why and what is the geography of those exchanges. So I'm interested in markets and market exchange. Uh, as far as those commodities, I'm interested in something that the uh, mid 20th century uh, anthropologist Carl Polanyi referred to as fictitious commodities, or things that aren't really meant to be commodities, but nevertheless, uh, over time, uh, capitalism has tended to turn into commodities. So things like money and the whole system of finance and banking and financial markets. Things like labor or just ourselves, our bodies, and how our bodies become commodities to be traded in markets. Or things like land, houses, uh, and speculation on homes. And then lastly, things like knowledge or our own emotional states and increasingly social media commodifies, turns into something of value that can be traded the feelings that we have in the states that we're in as people. So uh, if you were to come to Swansea and take my third year economic geography class that I teach with Kevin Reese, we would spend quite a bit of time talking about different kinds of commodities that exist in capitalism, where they come from, how they're traded, and why, and who benefits and who loses as a result of this. So I hope you come to Swansea. Uh, we have a great staff here. We take teaching very seriously. We also do very interesting research, and we would love to see you uh, in the fall.